it's a deal. Today's video is sponsored by Craftsy. Welcome back to Do It On A Dime. Today, we've got an epic challenge where we are making seven meals and a breakfast for the entire week for a family of four for under $50. These are all of the groceries. Are you ready to get started with these meals? Like these are actually easy too. In this video, you can expect healthy Dollar Tree recipe ideas, complete recipes. There's something in this video for everybody, including some jaw dropping hacks. Of every recipe, only three items didn't come from Dollar Tree, but their cost was included in the grand total. A pack of sausages, chicken thighs, and some shredded cheese. Everything else is from Dollar Tree. Groceries are so expensive right now, and these will help you save big. For example, these pancakes are $1.25. They're $2.77 at Walmart. They have amazing spices. Now, when looking for spices, I really like any spices that come in a grinder. This is bacon pieces for $1.25. This is another great deal, extra fine pink Himalayan sea salt. They have Coloma Ranch seasoning here. This brand is really good. Look for complete seasonings like this Badia. This is great. Panko breadcrumbs and Italian style breadcrumbs, great deal. Great deal for sweet chili sauce, also a one sauce. You can see how much Walmart charges for the same product. I highly recommend Dollar Tree for condiments. Usually they're much cheaper than Walmart and it's the same name brands you're finding in those stores. But I think my ultimate favorite is Kingsford. Anytime you see this, it's a definite yes. And right here, I'm gonna grab some onion soup and dip mix. We're coming into our first meal idea. This is a better deal than Walmart because you get three packs. And always stick with the name brand dressing, but the Kraft Thousand Island dressing is a great deal at Dollar Tree. You can get raspberry preserves at the Dollar Tree, strawberry preserves, and we're gonna combine this with some of the amazing noodles, my favorites from the Dollar Tree. Grab some egg noodles, one cup of dressing, one pack of Italian soup mix, and one can of preserves, and I'm gonna combine it with those four chicken thighs. You wanna mix up all of your dry and wet ingredients, stir and pour over top, and then cook on low for four to five hours. Serve over your noodles. Y'all, this recipe is such a favorite. We are just getting started. Come to Dollar Tree and grab this Omega rice. This is a better deal than it is at Walmart. And I'm gonna show you a hack so you can keep this in your freezer. Pour that entire bag of rice in a stock pot, okay? Entire bag, and you want six cups of water. Bring to a boil, stir, and then bring to a simmer. And don't forget the McCormick food storage containers. This is a great deal compared to Walmart. This is the Well Yes Power. So this has got vegetables in it. It's vegetarian, no preservatives, no artificial flavors, 10 grams of protein. So what I'm gonna do is make a rice base and pour this on top. We can even individually portion out meals. Y'all, this is such a great hack. You have to try. Warm up when you're ready to serve. I've got some hacks coming up, including with the air fryer. And speaking of the air fryer. It's another reason I'm so glad to tell you today's video is sponsored in part by Craftsy. Recently, I took a class on Craftsy with Bruce Weinstein, and he showed an amazing hack for using puff pastry as well as raspberry jam. You can put these two things together and literally stick it in your air fryer for an incredible dessert. And what I love even more is this is totally applicable to something you could replicate on a dime. Craftsy is an online community and resource for crafters and makers of all types, whether you're into photography, knitting, crocheting. They have thousands of classes that are all taught by friendly experts and they go so in depth so you can learn, hone, and practice a new skill. I love the wisdom the instructors share, the detail that I go into. You may remember I recently dove into woodworking and everything I can learn there. If you're a creative, you'll love Craftsy. And as promised, everything in this video is super affordable. If you are one of the first thousand people to click the link in my description box, you get a year of Craftsy Premium for just $1.49. It's an incredible deal. I have learned so much already. I've taken over 20 classes. That's what you came for. <laughs> and it's all cheap. The Walmart app, this is totally free. I can take something like this, these black beans, which we're gonna grab. All right, I can go here to the barcode and on Walmart's app, I can quickly scan this. So I know picking this up here, I'm not overpaying. All right, this is a $1.48 at Walmart and it's only $1.25 here. This is non-BPA. They also have non-GMO. I love seeing these types of options here. And this is an amazing deal. This exact product, I'm pretty sure this is like at least $3.50 at Walmart, but I'm gonna check right now. This is $10.07 at Walmart. Heck yes. Oh my gosh, this is so good. 
This hack just might blow your mind. If you haven't had diced canned potatoes, yes, potatoes, you're missing out. These are fantastic. And we're gonna take some of that onion soup mix and mix it up with the potatoes and cook this in the air fryer. But there's a hack with this too. Another amazing hack. I am loving this video. You guys need to come and get these air fryer parchment papers. This is a really good deal. You get 15 of them for $1.25. They come in all sizes. This just makes cleanup really easy. They're affordable, natural. I love it. Canned potatoes are one of my secret easy treats. These are really great with your eggs in the morning. They're really great for a snack too. I air fry these for about 12 to 15 minutes. And oh my goodness, are they so good, especially with a dry soup mix. Another easy idea is to grab petite diced tomatoes, some black beans, and even this jalapeno sauce. Now you remember, we still have half of the rice left from that bag. I cook it all at once. And whatever's left over, I get some zip freezer bags from the Dollar Tree and I can put it right inside of these. And then I can go ahead and freeze the rice. Make sure you take out as much air as possible. I usually stick a wet paper towel right inside the bag when I warm it up in the microwave. It's like having instant rice on hand. Okay, so here's what I do with the beans, the diced tomatoes, I add the jalapeno, jalapeno sauce. Now the spicier you want this, you just add more of the jalapeno sauce, but this has such a great kick. It is such a bargain for $1.25. It makes this dish actually taste flavorful. You can make ahead of time, warm up in your oven, and you can feed a family of four for less than four bucks. I like to double dip. Another amazing deal are right here. These marinated red peppers. This is going to elevate any type of dinner that you want to make. And this already comes with a clove of garlic in it, which is awesome because check this out. We're gonna come right over here and they have these pasta salads. So one of my favorite things to do when taking something like this, that's $1.25, we're gonna elevate it with a few key ingredients. Just check this out. I just wanna be clear how picky I'm being in this video. If I'm showing it to you, it tastes good. Ultra thin pizza crust. I grabbed some of this as well as the Hormel name brand pepperoni. The pepperoni comes with two bags. So I just took half of one of the bags and then I cut up the pepperoni into little pieces for a bit of extra protein. I took the beautiful peppers as well as some items that I had for my fridge. You could use carrots, cucumbers, raisins, cranberries, like just raid your pantry, find something on the fritz. I don't want to include things I didn't pay for, so I'm going to substitute with Dollar Tree veggies. And when it comes to eating healthy at Dollar Tree, we've got beets, we've got canned vegetables, lots of them are organic, non-GMO, and they even have frozen vegetables for $1.25. And these are sealed at the peak of freshness, so they're awesome. I'm gonna use that pasta salad kit. And we like to get jazzy, hey? So we're gonna add those bell peppers to this, including the garlic. We've got our pepperoni in there, our cucumber. Like, just start combining fun things. And if you want to, you can mix in a little bit of mayonnaise to thicken this up. This is so light and fresh for dinner or lunch, and you can feed a family of four for about five bucks. I'd love to know your experience with the Dollar Tree Ultra Pizza Crust. I think these are really good. They have two smaller ones and they have a larger one. This is such a great memory making thing. You could do two with your kids, make pizza and watch a fun movie. I wanted to make sure this actually saved you money. So I grabbed some pizza sauce. And again, I just got this from the Dollar Tree. We have those pepperonis left over. Shredded cheese is just $1.50 at my grocery store. That's one of the three items that I added. I actually don't like the Dollar Tree cheese. When you see it in the fridge section, don't get it. Everything else though is absolutely awesome. You can make four small pizzas super affordably. Y'all, my kids devour these. Do you know what movie I watched the other day? Do you remember that movie, Where the Heart Is? <gasps> With Natalie Portman. It's free on YouTube. It's beautiful. <laughs> Peanut butter is a great deal at Dollar Tree. They have creamy peanut butter. They also have peanut butter spread with a little bit of honey in it. Mm. Holy cow, this could add some sweetness to anything. And they have crunchy peanut butter. Awesome score. I feel like only men like crunchy peanut butter. Have you ever met a woman who likes crunchy peanut butter? Not a single one. Not a si okay. And like, honestly, I'm open to hearing your stories. Like, are you a woman who actively seeks out crunchy peanut butter? Bread at the Dollar Tree is actually a really fantastic deal. And I've got a sandwich hack that your kids are gonna love. If you've got mason jars, you can do this hack. We're gonna use the whole loaf of bread and make all of our sandwiches for the week. I make sure I put the peanut butter on the bread and then the jam in between, and that way it's not going to saturate the bread. And then I take a mason jar or a little jar, and then you can make some DIY Uncrustables. You can definitely save the crust of this, and you can put them in the toaster oven and use them as croutons later. I take these parchment paper dividers, and I put the sandwiches between it, and then I can stick it in some of those leftover zip bags. Take these out of the fridge whenever you're ready to eat. You could even freeze them, and they'll be thawed by lunchtime. Is it yummy? <laughs> I do think that the Dollar Tree peanut butter is actually really quality, especially given the price. We're gonna drop 
down low to some shelf stable milk. Now maybe you've noticed Modern Pantry at Dollar Tree and you just went by it because you're like, this has preservatives in it. This is probably not good for me. Y'all, it doesn't. Literally, the ingredients in this are milk and vitamin D3. That is it. And shelf stable milk, when I lived in Spain, like this is all we drank. Like if I wanted milk, everything was shelf stable. Once you open it, you put it in the refrigerator. So if you can get your mind away from the fact that this is no different than anything you're finding at the grocery store, y'all, whole milk this much for $1.25, we're gonna be using it in our breakfast recipe and what's left over, you can have a glass of milk on the side. Well, I don't know if this is a popular opinion, but I also don't wanna gatekeep things. I really like these toast and pop-ups. Up, pop like, I just, I really like these. They taste like a Pop-Tart to me. And I love Pop-Tarts. Can recommend. Do you, have you had these? I like them more than Pop-Tarts, but... I didn't know we shared this. These are freaking good. But if you're not opting for Pop-Tarts, this is an actual healthy breakfast I would recommend eating. These are old-fashioned oats. They are not more expensive than Walmart. It's about the same price. If you have a Walmart rollback, you could probably get this a little cheaper there. But I do not like to waste food. When have you ever used every single last oat in your pantry? I don't think I ever have, which is why I like to get smaller quantities. I'm gonna use just this bag. My favorite thing is like opening up a bag, dumping it in and like, that's the recipe. No measuring, why? Because this is exactly two cups. I'm gonna grab a few items, even if you have nothing at home, you can still make this breakfast recipe. They here. do at the Dollar Tray. They also have coconut oil here, which is a great deal. I'll link this recipe down below, but one of my favorite things is to do great substitutions. Like instead of using blueberries, I got these cherries from the Dollar Tree. And y'all, this adds just the perfect amount of tart to this recipe. I really like it. Oatmeal bakes are so great because they're really easy to put together. You're just gonna stick this right into a casserole dish. You can bake it, then put it in your fridge, and then you have something throughout the week so you can have an easy breakfast on the go. Texas toast, this is a great deal. This is 50% savings as compared to Walmart, and this stuff is good. Adding this to the cart, this is gonna be a great filler item to help really beef out our meals. If you're somebody who likes to shop for food pantries, you want an easy pasta dish, I love the Dollar Tree pasta, and they have name brand Prego Classic Alfredo Sauce. This is the same stuff that you're finding in the grocery store, and it's a really great deal in this can. I'm also a really big fan of casseroles, basically anything noodle, okay? I just really like my carbs. Not only is it affordable, it's the best comfort food. And a great hack that you can do is take saran wrap and put it on the outside of one of your baking dishes. Then a little bit of wax paper, and then you can add any leftover meal. My bulk cooking friends, my casserole lovers. Then you're gonna pull over the wax paper and then the saran wrap. And then later on, I'm going to be able to warm this up. I can freeze this and then pop it out so I don't have to have like everything in a casserole dish in the freezer. It just stores a lot easier. And they even have hot dog buns. We're gonna grab this for $1.25. Remember those bratwurst I got at the beginning of the video? Well, I just grilled those up. I got my sauerkraut. I love sauerkraut. I've also got my beets. This is a really great and also super affordable dinner. We need more dessert. We do need more dessert. Have you had the Dollar Tree frozen lemonade? This serves a family of four and I'm gonna show you how. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. There's European cookies, lemon flavored shortbread. This could be really good, right? Me lemon. Oh yeah, lemon this. Shortbread. All of like the European food at Dollar Tree is always so good. So what I like to do is take a melon baller, I put a little bit of the sorbet inside of the dish and I add a cookie to this. I promise you, try this dessert. You're gonna see why I love it so much. Don't forget to check out Craftsy. The link will be down below and get your full year membership for just $1.49 if you're one of the first thousand people to click and sign up. All eight meals, snack, and dessert you saw in this video with tax was just $49.33. If you want more videos like this, leave us a thumbs up and a comment down below. I love bringing you content that saves you money and is helpful and as always is completely free, my beautiful friend. If nobody has told you today, guess what? You are enough. I'll catch you soon.